what's going on youtube jeans here hope you guys are having an amazing day today we are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for pokemon sword and pokemon shield in today's video we're using one of the strongest pokemon back before restricted mods were even allowed we are using a bravey r18 for series 12. you guys already know the deal if you do enjoy the content anytime make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video and if you're not subscribed to the channel definitely consider subscribing and support me as a content creator really just go a long way so i'll give a huge shout to each and every one of my subscribers but like i said today we're using a braviary team braviary was a top tier pokemon in my opinion a top tier pokemon before i feel like the dlcs really came out because regilecki really puts a puts a hurt on him and all the restricted mods really do like like hinder his how good he was because he was so good he was top tier everybody was using him everyone was ripping with him in dynamax and then at one point i think it was when the dlc came out just dropped off he just dropped off hard and a bunch of new pokemon came into the meta but hopefully we can use braviary rock out with him and grab some wins let's get started here with today's team preview starting off in that top left corner it's Sassian. normal build normal everything i don't even have to talk about it second pokemon is going to be that lovely braviary normal and flying type with the defiant ability alongside with the wakan berry as item to help it eat up an electric shot we got brave bird we got giga impact both for stab and then we got tailwind for speed control and protect for our final move Middle left is going to be Groudon over here. Great little restricted mod with Drought and Leftovers as item. Fire Punch, Precipice Blades, Rock Slide, and Protect. Great move set with two coverage moves and one big stab move. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Regilecki over here. And this Regilecki is actually really good in Dynamax form. It's got Transistor alongside with the Life Orb. And then it's rocking Wild Charger Stab, E Web for Speed Control, Bounce for, you know, bouncing and dodging moves, and more importantly, a max airstream with Dynamax. That's why I said this Pokemon is really good in Dynamax. And then we got Protect, obviously, for our fourth and final move. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Groudon's best friend. We got Chlorophyll Venusaur over here. Doubles its speed in the drought with the Focus Ash as item. Rockin' Frenzy Plant, Sleep Powder, put Pokemon to sleep, Weather Ball, and Protect. Final Pokemon on squad is going to be Snorlax. I love me some Snorlax. Definitely a really bulky physical uh, defense Pokemon with that thick fat and the safety goggles. And it's really good at yawning Pokemon and just putting them to sleep. We got Darkest Slayer. We got Rock Slide. No stab moves, two coverage moves. And then we got Yawn and Protect for our two little support moves for this Pokemon. But guys, there's team preview. If you want to rent this code for yourself, the rent code is just chilling at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on the rank double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Series 12 Braviary team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into battle number one for today's video. And we're going up against a Groudon Charizard team with Eternatus, Regilecki, Incineroar, and Wimscott. How should I play this one? How should I go about it? I'm thinking of leading my Braviary. I mean, we could Tailwind and kind of counter up his Tailwind if he wants to. And we can roll out from there. He could also bring Regilecki, which could definitely be a play. So I might want to leave Groudon on top of that. Groudon's not too bad here. Groudon is not too bad. We do have Rock Slide, which is four times super effective up against that uh that uh Charizard, which is good. And if he goes into Incineroar with uh Intimidate, it will affect Groudon, but we have Braviary to pop to fine. So I really do like that lead. I really do like that lead. We'll definitely bring Venusaur. Then I think we just throw Zassian in the back end because you know Zassian is an absolute beast. Let's lock it down, let's lock it in. But before we hop into battle number one, we got two things. One question of the day what was your favorite pokemon when sword and shield first came out so like back in like series like one to like five i should say because i used to absolutely love using a mudsail team uh, and durant i know people like to use uh braviary that's why i'm asking this question so let me know your guys answers in the comment section down below and second thing is i'm gonna give a huge shout out to scg my partnership up these guys are awesome they helped me make awesome content for you guys they they did the giveaway they did all that good stuff so if you guys want to go drop them a follow catch extra content from me and from them all their links to their socials is down in the description below and we are bringing you guys two discount codes one the rogue energy one to acquire acquire merch if you guys want to go check out the acquire merch and the rogue energy flavors links are down in the description below use code short circuit get a nice little discount but uh we're hopping into our first battle he's got charizard and he has this little booger charizard and what is that thing whim scott i might just pop a tail one right I'm gonna look for Tailwind here. I'm gonna look for Tailwind now, and I'm gonna look for Rockstar. Yeah, I'm gonna just Dynamax here. I kinda wanna Dynamax. I am gonna Dynamax. I'm gonna get rid of this Charizard, because I feel like Charizard's Dynamax here. I feel like Charizard's got Dynamax, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So good Dynamax for me. Good Dynamax for me. So my round should be able to eat up whatever he has to offer. And. He, I, I was gonna say, even if he's holding the Charity Berry, he might still be able to pick up the KO, but the Charity Berry is type nice, bro. It is type nice, I wonder who he's gonna take out. I really do. But getting rid of his Dynamax could be big news for us. Could be big news for us, so I'm just gonna straight up Dynamax. Because if I would have Dynamax Braviary, it, we would have been, been sitting in a rough spot. 
We would have been sitting in a rough spot. But yeah, I gotta get rid of I gotta get rid of this Charizard. This Charizard is posing too much of a threat. Like Wimp's got Charizard. God. That's God combo. It's a God combo. So, so I gotta I gotta start doing some damage to I start chipping it away. He's gonna end up going for a tailwind. Nice, nice. Hopefully we can get off our tailwind to counteract it. And he's probably going for a wildfire, right? He goes for the wildfire. And is that up, up against Braviary? It is. Braviary. Can you eat? Probably not, right? No shot, dude. Like I said, God combo right there. God combo right there. Insane combo. Please no Charty Berry. Show me no Charty Berry and we can, we can get rolling with this battle. Is Charty Berry. How dare you, yo? Can we, can we still pick up a KO? Maybe. Probably not. Let's see how this one plays. Let's see how this one plays. Pick up a KO. Charty Berry OP, dude. Charty Berry OP. Soaks up that damage. We do change up the weather, which is cool, though. So. We do get that weather change. Um, dang, dude. Who do I go into? I have to protect whoever I go into. I do have to protect whoever I go into. Um, hmm. What's my player? I do have leftovers, which is going to help me out here. A little bit of leftovers. We're going to soak it up. Uh, I'm going to Venusaur. I have to protect whoever I go into. I'm leaning more towards Zassian at this point. I'd rather have Zassian at full HP, you know? I'm going to poke in here and uh, I'm just going to protect my Venusaur. He could guard here, too. Which would be a smart play, but I don't know if he's going to do it. I don't know if he's going to do it. So as much as I want to flare, I have to drop another rock. Well, you know what? Let's do this. Now, we won't be able to take speed that way. Speed will not be in our favor, so I, I have to drop this rock. Or do we think that this flare could take him out? I don't know. I have to drop the rock. We're going with the rock. Hopefully, he's not guarding. He's going to end up withdrawing Wimscott. And who's he going to fly into here? Who's he putting on into the field? He's going to throw Groudon out of his own and change the weather back into his favor. Not a bad play, but I'm just going to... I really wanted the, the heat, though. <laughs> wow, I could have dropped the flare. The flare would have been nice, but I'm protecting Venusaur. He swaps back into... We're going to get rid of the Charizard. Which... Um, he's going to go for the Wildfire again. Venusaur's going to be able to soak this up. Good little protect on us. But still, oh, we're dead. No way that does that much damage. No way that does that much damage. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Well, we get rid of Charizard. Can we eat up one Wildfire? I don't think we can. That is ridiculous. And now Buffets are back on the field. Venusaur is dead. Oh my lord. That's, that's disgusting. That is disgusting how much damage that did through protect. That is so ugly. That's so ugly, but it is Charizard. He is an absolute menace to society. We're gonna take Buffett's wildfire coming in hot. Venusaur's gone. That hurts his soul. That hurts his soul. So we know he has Wimscott, we know he has Groudon. I do not know his final Pokemon. Um We do have Zassian. Zassian Zassian came to play. Zassian came to play. I could protect, which I might have to do. I might have to protect this turn one. A to waste out Tailwind and B to kind of get up these Pokemon. Let's see how this one plays. He's gonna go Eternatus. Eternatus with Dynamax Cannon. God dang it. With Dynamax Cannon. Okay. Zassian, I gotta protect you. He's going for Bleeds. I gotta protect you. Actually, or do we rely on us eating this? Shout out. It's how many turns left in Tailwind. I gotta see. I gotta see how many turns left in Tailwind. Tailwind? One, two? Two. I gotta protect you, Zassian. Zassian, you're getting to protect all day. And I'm just gonna go roll into a Max Quake, and I'm gonna go after you. It's terrifying. Terrifying, because Dynamax Cannon's coming in hot. We know it all day. We know it's going to be Dynamax Cannon Bleeds. It's just a given. It's just a given. He's going to end up going for, let's see, Dynamax Cannon. Soak? I think we can soak, but this is terrifying. Times two damage. It's like a Behemoth Blade for him. We do eat. We do eat. And what's going to happen here? Blade's going to come through. Block and dodge it? Oh, we dodge it. Oh, we dodge it. Oh, we dodge it. We dodge it. Good. That's a good turn for us. We dodge it. We dodge it. Okay, hold up. Wait a minute. I'm trying to think of how we can do this. How we can get after this battle. One more turn left in tail, and we cannot protect Zassian. I think Zassian can eat up a bleed. It's gonna be tough. Actually, maybe not with this wildfire, dude. I hate the wildfire. It's obnoxious. It is obnoxious. It is obnoxious. But that might be the last wildfire. Turn. That is obnoxious. <laughs> just doing me so dirty. <laughs> Ripping into me for no reason. Ripping into me for no reason. Oh, wow, I can't believe that took out my Venus like that. He's gonna bring back out Whimsy. And uh bump. Bu 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 
What do we do? How many turns left in wildfire? I think it. I don't know if it if it chips this turn, or it might just end. I forget. I forget. How we gotta do this? I might take out the Whimscott. I'm gonna take out the Whimscott just so he doesn't grant speed next turn. I'm just gonna have to protect this boy right here. I'm just gonna protect him. Let's see how this one plays. Let's see what you do here. So protect comes out from the ground on. Moonblast coming in hot onto the ground. It's a huge block. Dodge his ass. Dodge his ass. Dodge his ass. And avoid it. Avoid it. Let's go. No, you should be able to soak this up, I think, right? He does not. Wow. He does not soak that up. I thought he could soak up the blade. Does not happen. That's going to be battle number one, guys. Battle number one does not go in our favor. I wish we would have had our Venus or man. And there goes Wildfire. Wildfire takes me out regardless. <laughs> I wish we would have had our uh, Venus or man. Definitely was not expecting it, that Charizard to do that much damage through Protect, but it did. Took me out in one shot, and now we can roll into battle number two. First battle didn't go our way, but we're hopping into our second battle, and we're looking for our first win with this Braviary squad. We're going up against a Steam Engine Colossal team. Who we might end up leading. He also has the Yvelta, the Incineroar, Rillaboom, and last but not least, he's rocking out. Dassy. How should we go into this one? How should we play it? Do we think he's going to lead that, what's it called? That Steam Engine boy? Wait, he might do it. He might do it. I kind of want to just go into like uh, Venus or Groudon wouldn't be bad. Right? Venus or Groudon would be lovely. Unless he leads, you know, obviously. like. But I can just throw that thing to sleep and kind of roll from there. I mean, then Aqua Jack comes through. Ooh. But we are sashed. We are sashed. So I'm going to go in with them too. I'm going to bring Zacian and I might not even bring Braviary. I mean, Braviary is solid once we can get rid of the, uh, the Colossal. So I am going to bring Braviary. Let's do it. Or I can bring Reggie. Regilecki, not too shabby. Here. Yeah. Yes, we want Regilecki. Regilecki, let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's get after him. Regilecki's got that light for him. We can Dynamax him. Leading. I just dig him. I just dig him a lot. But let's see who he ends up leading. Let's really see who he ends up leading. The Steam Engine combo is kind of looking a little scary for me. I would have loved to let lead the Zacian. Zacian would have been beautiful. Zacian would have been beautiful. But let's see. Let's see. He's going to go... Bum, 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 bum. Steam engine. Yes. Steam and John. Steam and John. So we're going to roll in with these two. Um, I mean, we're Sash, right? We're Sash, so... If he wants to go after my Venusaur, that's fine. I'm just going to trigger the Sash. I'm just going to put him to sleep. He's going to say Night Night to you. Night Night to you, and then I could Rock Slide all across. Or I could just straight up Blades. Blades would be a better option. Yeah, I'm just gonna trade up blades here. Blades. Blades, blades, blades. I could have Dynamax the ground on. Could definitely Dynamax the ground on, but I don't think this is my play. I, I think I just saved my Dynamax. I feel like if he has Yvelt in the back end. Ooh, ooh he's withdrawn. Who's he gonna, who's he gonna swap into here? Withdrawing early on here. He's gonna go into the Willaboom. What a play! What a play! Really, really, he's coming in here. Okay. Really, Benilli. Solid play. Sleep powder doesn't affect him. Blades are gonna do like nothing to him. And this thing's just gonna pop a certain strikes, which you should be able to soak pretty well here. Might just dump on that Urshifu next turn. I don't know. Do I? I could put the Urshifu to sleep next turn. Let's drop a fire punch. Do we think we can eat up a glide? That's my real question. Do we think we can eat up a glide? Blades coming in hot. That grass train definitely helping out. I mean, I'm just going to Weather Ball. I'm going to protect the Weather Ball. I could. I could fake me out. I could Dynamax. I could Dynamax Venus right at this point. I'm trying to think. That would be a bad Dynamax, right? This turns into Weather Ball. That's not a bad Dynamax. I'm going to run it. I'm just going to protect you. Let's do it. Run it up. Run it up. Run it up. I like this. I like this turn a lot. I really, I really do dig this turn. I'm in love with it. I'm in love with it. I like this turn right now. Dynamax is Venusaur sort of right here, right now. Protect my Groudon. Hopefully, he's going for a Grass Glide into Groudon. We can just get that block off. We can Max Strike, which turns to Max Flare. Take out Venusaur, no problem. And then roll off from there. Drop a G Max Fine Lash a little bit. And just, just go from there. Let's just, let's just take it one turn at a time. He withdraws him. And who's he going to roll into at this point? Roll into Incineroar. Okay. Incineroar rolls in here. That's fine. It's fine. Who would it? I wish I did have Max Break though. I'm surprised he did that. 
He has to be going into glide at that point. Right? So we can blade out next turn. Blades could be lovely. Blades could be lovely. So we know his whole team. We know his whole team, and he didn't bring one restricted mod. I don't with it. I don't with it. But Venus was gonna get the Dynamax here. I'm gonna get buzzing. Go ahead, grass guide into my into my ground on, please. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Just grass guide straight into there. Just do a big fat grass glide. Yeah, okay. He went for he goes for big. That's fine by me. Maybe he he read the protect, I guess. That's fine. I did Dynamax for that reason too. I didn't want him faking me out. Because he had two options. He was either gonna grass glide into my ground on or he was going to uh, go straight into what's called. Straight into a fake out. And he actually set the grass frame for me. That works well for my Venus. We love it. We love it. We love it. So whoever he brings out on that right slot, I think I just have to drop a G-Max Vine Lash. Vine Lash. Start chipping there and then just blades on the other side. I mean, he does have Flare Blitz, which is kind of scary, but I feel like my Venus Force should be able to eat. Right, Bean Bean. Right, Bean Bean. Plus you outspeed, so you can you can chip up damage first. I'm just going to Vine Lash across here. Set that up and just blades. Blades. Blades, baby. The Flare Blitz is looking a little scary. He might parting shot, too. Let's see what he does here. He's going to end up detecting. That's fine, yo. Venusaur is still going to rip damage here. He might be able to pick up the KO after the Vine Lash damage. You know? Hey, look at this. Oh, he just does it straight through protect. Straight like that. Straight like that. He's straight to the point. He said, hey, yo, you're protecting? Nah, son. I'm going to hit right through it. Thanks for the grassy train. That grassy train definitely did me good. He's gonna, we're going to drop a blades here. He, Oh, he dodges it. I thought he was buried. He's just going to party shot. Okay, so he party shots. He's going to have to come back out here. Drop to intimidate. Uh, I'm cool with that. He's going to have to Dynamax his... Uh, He's gonna have to Dynamax his what's it called? His boy, his Colossal, Steam Engine Colossal, Steam Engine Colossal. He's just gonna fake me out. Right, I could protect here, but I might not. He might read the protect. He might read the protect. So you know what? I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna protect here. I'm just gonna get straight after this. I mean business. I mean business. <laughs> I mean business. So uh, ground's gonna be minus two. Ground's gonna be minus two. Gee, man. Oh, Violet's chipping. Chipping already. Ground's gonna be minus two. Venusaur's minus one. I don't mind it because the grassy terrain is out. And that really boosts our damage. So it's kinda like him having the grass terrain out there for us, kinda like neglecting that minus one for us. Eliminate back out and about. He can fake me out, but I don't want him to read the protect. So I'm just gonna go straight after it. I'm gonna go straight up Vine Lash into you. And just bleeds. Just straight up blades. I can't believe we missed that blade though. Well, I'm a little upset with that. And he just cancels battle. Let's go. Is that sweet? That might have been sweet. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. But one and one for today's video. Let's hop into our third. Third and final battle coming at you guys. And we're going up against a Trick Room team here in battle number three. He's got Dialga. He's got Zassian, Ditto. And then he's got P2, Sableye, and Gothitelle with that Shadow Tag, which is a really good ability. But uh, how should I play this one? How should I roll out? I could go Ground on turn one, which wouldn't be bad. I could also go Braviary. Go Zassian too. Just to chip up some damage, kind of get it for the battle. But ah, I want to show off Braviary. I definitely want to showcase Braviary. But Snorlax is definitely going to come, have to come out here. I might just lead the Lax. I might just lead the Lax. If he wants to pop Trick Room, he can pop Trick Room. We kind of go from there. And I might just want to go Braviary here. Just get off some damage. I, I definitely want to bring Braviary here. Win or lose, I want to bring a Braviary. We already got a win for today's video. I got to bring a Braviary. But uh, who could grab on Braviary's Zacian? I'm just lead the Zacian. I'm leaning towards that. Let's run it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Reg Lackey, sorry, dude. You're not coming in today's video. Get out of here. Get him on out of here. But yeah, we're one and one. That last battle, we just dominated. I'm surprised he didn't bring in a uh, a restricted mod. But he went for that Steam Engine Colossal turn one, and then he saw our lead. He was like, nah, yo, I can't do this. I can't deal with it. And we're just like, yeah, yo, get him on, get him on out of here. And then once we Dynamax that Venusaur, I saw the match just in our hand. It was over from there. But yeah, I, I, this one's going to be tough for us. Like Trick Room stuff is here. He does have that Ditto. Ditto is so good. Ditto is so good. Like, Ditto is real deal Pokemon. I'm surprised it doesn't get used. Actually, it gets used a good bit. It does get used a good bit, but it's so cool. It's so cool. Especially when it's like a one-on-one. -on -one, you just one -on -one. It's so good. Or if they have a Pokemon that's absolutely ripping, like Grimnade boosted, Shadow Rider Calyrex, you take all their stats, too. It's huge. He's going to go in with these two. Oh, I'm cool with that. I'm going to go in with uh, Zass and Snorlax. I'm just going to yawn into... I mean, he can't fake me out. I'm going to yawn into uh, into Dialga here. That's definitely my play. Yawn straight into Dialga. I can't swap. But I do want to stay in this uh, battle. Because. Actually, I can't, I can't even swap. I don't want to protect. 
Because if he doesn't pick me out, I can chip up some big guys. But I think he's going to pick out my ass, right? He's got to pick out my ass. I would love to get off this yawn. But still, this is big. Trick Room's big for Snorlax here. Snorlax can just yawn and kind of waste out a lot of turns. It's really good for him. So if he wants to pop a Trick Room and I can get off this yawn on Dialga, that could be not a bad turn for us. I'll take that as a win. So let's see what he does. He's going to Dynamax Dialga. Is he popping Trick Room with Gothitelle? Okay. I wonder what he's doing here. He might have to pop Trick Room with Gothitelle. But we're going straight for the yawn. Dude, now if I can get off this yawn, that's beautiful. That would be beautiful. Let's see what he plays here. He's probably Focus Ash. He's probably Focus Ash with the, with the Gothitelle. Let's see how this one plays. Is he faking me out? He's going to use Fake Out onto Zassian. That's fine. That's fine. We flinch. We can't move. What's he going for? Quake? He's going to go for a straight Wormwood. That's going into my Snorlax. Snorlax going to eat that up all day. The Snorlax with a big time E is going to drop my attack to minus one. But more importantly, we get off this amazing yawn. It's huge on. And he shows that he's orbed. We can't swap his ass in, so I'm going to have to protect him this turn. And then I think I'm just going to have to go into a, uh, a Dark Slayer. Play. Chip up damage on you. But I can't swap Shadow Tags out and about. I'm not dealing with it. Actually, I could stay in. We could attack. I have to protect. Actually, I do want to protect. But I really don't want to take damage from that. I'll go. Dialga's definitely scaring me. Protect coming in from you. We're hoping that the Dialga's going after my Zassian at this point. See what he does. Nope, he's just going to take out my Snorlax. Snorlax is dead. That's really all he's going to get out of it. I'm cool with that. Minus two. I could bring out... Uh, Dynamax pretty good. Wouldn't be bad. Hypno's going to come in here, so we're going to block that. And he's asleep. Okay. So I cannot swap Zassian until until what's called Skull until Shadow Tag Gotham tells me. So I'm thinking of just Dynamax and Brigadier here and we want to speed boost in. I could just pop some Secret Swords. Dynamax, Airstream, I'll cross onto you. Secret Sword come out, could come out here. Hmm. Target stat changes do not affect the damage. This could be really good for us. So yeah, I'm just going to start chipping up onto this Diablo. Even though we're minus two. It's not going to affect the damage that it does. Oh, no. It's the target stat change. Never mind. It is going to affect the damage. That was stupid. I just went after Gothitelle because I got to get rid of this thing. I have to get rid of this thing. I have to get rid of Gothitelle. But, yeah. The Alga that hasn't been asleep for one turn yet. So, I'm like it. I'm like it. Brave He's going to get his Dynamax. We're going to showcase my boy. And we're going to rip some damage with him. We do have a combo. Oh, but he does have Hypnosis, which we don't really like. If he lands Hypnosis, I'm going to be a little upset. But so, that did some good damage. That did some nice damage. I like the damage. He's slumped. Baby, I should go next. We're going to take a bit more speed here. Oh, he goes before me. He's going to hypnosis and he lands it. How dare you? He lands it. It's a little obnoxious. It's a little obnoxious. We don't like that. And we're going to roll into an airstream. So, airstream is going to boost our speed. Lovely. Baby, is going to be back on top with speed. And we're going to chip up some. That's some lovely damage. Speed is on our side. And Diablo is going to drop. Okay. So I gotta get rid of this Gothel. Gothel has got to go. I cannot swap this ass in, dude. Cannot swap this ass in. We'll go for another Secret Sword. I'm kind of just go from there. So cool. Braviary is gonna be faster than uh both these guys now. So Hypnosis, he's not even gonna have a shot to land. Hypnosis, we're just gonna take out Gothel. And we're gonna hope Zassian can wake up rather soon because I can swap him out, get his stats back for later in the match, and he can really come in clutch. He's gonna helping hand. How dare you, helping hand? Smart play. Smart play though. Helping hand comes out here because he knows he's gonna die. Zassian's gonna be slumped. Maybe is going to roll out next. We're going to say, Ayo, Gothitelle, you and your Shadow Tag, get out of here. Shadow Tag is so good. It's such a good ability. But I'm so surprised he didn't pop a trick room. But he might still be asleep. I think he's still going to be asleep. This could be big. This could be big if he's still asleep. Good. You, you, you got to be asleep here. Two turns sleep. That's what we need. Two turns sleep. Thank you very much. Two turns sleep so far. Cool. Zassian, I would love for you to wake up here. I really want to swap him. But I think I'm just going to look for a protect. I don't want to swap him and then him come back out. Or I could. See what he goes into. He's gonna go into P2. He's gonna pop Trickum. The Trickum's gonna come out here. We know Trickum's out here. He's gonna get Interpret Sword. How dare you? <laughs> He's gonna boost at that. <laughs> yeah, dang P2. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna Max Strike into him, I guess. Max Strike will do a bit more damage. So I'm gonna Max Strike here. And I'm gonna swap into my ground one. So we have Blades on the field. This is a great battle. This is gonna be such a good battle. We're gonna hope Zassy when he comes back. He just wakes up instantly, you know? But the Trick Room is obviously out and about here. There's no doubt my mind he pops Trick Room. 
I probably should have stayed in here and tried to wake up and just went for Sacred Sword because we know he's trickering me. We know he's trickering me. But there's some lovely damage from Braviary. That's huge damage. Some big time damage. We love it. We drop attack and Dialga, be asleep one more turn. Go, go for a three turn stroll. Oh, baby. Three turn sleep. We love it. Yo, Smox with Yawns. Trickrim's coming out here. Yeah. So Trickrim's out and about. Uh, we can freely drop a blaze. I feel like my boy Groudon should be able to eat up a lot here. And we could Brave Bird across into P2. Just get rid of him. Such a good battle. It's a beautiful battle. Brave Bird. Blades. Let's do it. Let's run it. Let's run it. Run it. Even though Diablo should be able to eat up Blades, he's going to wake up here and he's going to chip up some damage. I wonder what he's going for, though. Hopefully, the uh, Roar Time could maybe take out Brave Yard, which could be scary. Which definitely could be scary. He's going to end up recovering. How dare you? How dare you recover? There you do that. This will recover from P2. He gets some HP back. And Diago wakes up and he's gonna drop a blizzard. Which he connects? Oh, on both of my god. What? Oh! That is ugly. It's the ugliest thing I've seen all day. Blades can come out here. Who dodges that? Who just did Diago just dodge that? Diago really just dodged that. We got a crit though. Diago really just dodged that. That is so ugly. Ray Bird's gonna come in here. Can you pick up the KO? Oh my god. Oh my god. We're gonna lose like this. We're gonna lose to a free focus ash and a blizzard double landing in the drought. I don't like this game one bit. Not one bit, yo. Not one bit, yo. Brave BR is ripping, though. He was ripping, though. Brave BR was ripping. That hurts the soul, man. Definition of hurting the soul. He's gonna recover, so I'm just gonna stick it sword. We know he's recovering. We're just gonna hope we wake up here. That hurts the soul. That one hurts the soul. P2, look at that. He should be dead. P2 should be dead. We know he's recovering, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna target him down. Oh, we went for a foul play. Never mind. Zassy, wake up. I need you waking up here. Steel beam. Wake up, Zass. The steel beam should be easily soaked. It's all you. Let's go. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, yo. If he wakes up here, we have a high chance of win this battle. Wake up. No, Sass. Sass, you know. Ah, oh, man. Sass, you with the non-wake up. We got to protect and hope we wake up. Hurts the soul, man. <laughs> it just hurts the soul. <laughs> hurts the soul. We soaked up the steel beam. And now he brings out Sass. Come on, Lord. What do we do? This is looking no good. I gotta go in the behemoth blade here. I got a blades. P2 is gonna, gonna go P2 then ground on. If we can if P2 or if we can eat up a foul play. It's coming down. It's coming down. If we can eat up a foul play. Oh my god, this battle's coming out to the wire. This battle's coming down to it. Foul play coming out. Eat this up. Let's go, ground on. Drop a blades. Drop a blade. It double connects. It double connects. We love it. My Zassi might be able to go first. Bro. Zassi can go first. Zassi can go first. We pick up the double kill or we pick up single kill. His Zassi goes first. Who you going after? It's tr oh my god. He's going to win. He's going to win. How many turns left in Trick Room? How many turns left in Trick Room, dude? I knew I should have went for Protect. Is trick Room gone. Trick Room do not end here. Oh no, because dude, he can just protect the last turn and trick him. Let's see how many turns left to trick him. Could be two. If it's two, we win. If it's two, we win. It's one. Bruh. Don't do me like that. Don't go into a move. Or don't go into a protect. No, dude. We're gonna lose like this. We're gonna lose like this. That hurts his soul, man. What if this ground on was beefy on the attack side? Only if this ground. Look how low we have this thing. Look how low we have this. What do I do? It's over with. Unless we unless we avoid an attack. Look how low we have it. Let me see your attack stack, Groudon. Come here. Come here. Come here. Look at that. Yo, invest more in attack. Invest more in attack. That would have been gorgeous. If it was HP in attack. It would have been GG's. No, dude. We're going to lose. Avoid this blade. Avoid it. Avoid it. You can do it. You can do it. 
GG's. I don't think Behemoth Blade can ever miss. I think you can avoid it, right? That's like, slim. It's like real slim. Wow, we really go out like that. Three Focus Ashes. P2. And Zassian living on one. That's rough. That is rough. But one and two for today's video. We got to show off this Braviary team pretty well. The Braviary squad did pretty solid. We got to show them off in Dynamax and without Dynamax, which is pretty solid. But one and two for today's video. Definitely wish we could have picked up another victory, but it is all good. It is all good. We got the Groudon. We got the Zassian out there. Groudon, a little bit on the weaker side with attack. Wish it would was more invested in attack. We would have won the second battle. And then Regilecki. This Regilecki is an absolute beast. Even though we didn't get to use it, you guys already know the power of Life Orb Regilecki. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you stay up to date on all of my content. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.